Hey you guys, it's good to see you again. I'm back from my travels. I went to the She Podcasts conference in Atlanta, Georgia, and it was exhilarating and exciting now that the podcast has launched, The Boss Lady Speaks. Make sure to subscribe um, and also give me any feedback. Or if you have a topic you want me to cover or a person you want me to interview, would you let me know? I'll put the links in the, in the comment here. Anyway, I want to share with you something today, something personal about the power of relationships. So a lot of you that watch this, you have your own businesses, you want to have your own business. And some of you, you want to have your own business online. And I get that question a lot, like how can I build a business online when I don't meet the people? And let me tell you, I've built a really profitable, successful business over 25 years and most of my clients I've never met. I've never met them. So the connection has been done through the phone, through this, through video messaging, and it's remarkable how much you can affect people, how much you can connect with people just by choosing your words, just by listening closely and truly communicating. So I just thought about that because I've been watching this business associate of mine who's struggling a little bit. I know this person is struggling and I'm watching the marketing efforts, like really consistent and a lot of them. But what's missing is that personal touch, that connection, that I'm speaking to you part, which is frankly the thing that is going to want someone to connect and buy from you as a business. So. The power is in your relationships. The business that you have is built on relationships. That's it. So go to the people, like find the people and connect with them because people want to do business with people that feel like friends. They want to do business with friends. They don't want to be sold. They want to feel like you care. Um, so that's the meta, that's the overall. And I also want to share something in regards to relationships uh, that happened yesterday. So my son started a school, a new school, uh, two months ago in, in middle school. And for two months, he's been mourning his old friends from his old school and basically lamenting that he will never, you know, make real friends again. And, and then yesterday the door opens and I know it's him because it's the time when he comes home from school and I see behind him is a friend from the new school. And I had to struggle, I had to struggle and discipline myself to make sure I didn't start to hop around giddy with joy. I had to play the cool mom, but I was so happy. I was so happy and I could see in him, I could see that there was a landing, there was a grounding in himself of knowing his own worth that knowing that what would make him feel apart, uh, connected, like this new school meant something to him was in his making friends and creating relationships. So um, yeah, that was, it was just so great. It was so great. Uh, and, and then again, like what also can happen if you don't, you can sink tons of money into marketing. You can take course after course. You can be super visible. But if you don't connect, if you don't mind the relationship, then it may very well be lost money. So um, that's what I want to leave you with today. Okay, let's see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, P.S. Do you want your iFix Wednesdays back? Because I used to be, you know, doing teaching videos every Wednesday on uh, in this Facebook group called iFix with Coach Joe. I just want to know if you want them back or not. Please vote. All right. Other than that, I love you. And um, comment, feedback, let me know what you think about this.